Hello again. Welcome to another um, hard chat, I guess you could say. This is kind of my second video and episode two that I'm doing that on a very personal level. I'm not sharing this out to anyone. I'm actually headed to the office. Uh, today I've got um, a stage boss reporting to do and a couple of things that i uh, to catch up with me. I'll be catch you guys up on my kind of my journey through uh, getting onboarded with EXP. So it's official. I have sent in my paperwork. Um, I had to send it to another state and um, get it all um, this time, but I don't want to let this time just be stale, you know, just to kind of sit here and be idle. Um, my goal is to uh, make sure that, you know, I'm using my time wisely and, and uh, I know it is a process. So, you know, the thing with getting your license is first, you have to uh, take all the coursework, um, which is a lot easier these days because you can do it online. Next thing that you have to do is, um, your course test, and that sometimes is uh, a proctor exam, meaning that somebody is watching you take it, they're uh, kind of dialed in with you there, and uh, you're taking maybe some of the, like in Texas, there are six different courses, and when you're ready for that, that course test, you just uh, set a proctor exam all online. You don't have to go in if you don't want to, and then once you do all the coursework for your state, you uh, sign up for uh, the the state test and the national test. So I didn't realize that, but there's actually two tests that you take. Um, they you take the national, well for me, I took the national first is the way it was set up. I go into a, it's called a Pearson uh, view um, location and they're all across the country. You literally sit there in front of a computer. Um, they're very strategic. They make sure that, you know, you don't have any kind of wiring on your jewelry and everything else. So once you get through all of the inspection, um, I guess people cheat and um, with uh, Bluetooth they were saying, but anyway, once you get through that, you sit down and you take um, the course for um, the national and then you take the state portion, whatever state you're in. Um, usually it's like 80 questions and then 60 questions or something like that. And they give you plenty of time to do a little scratch pad and um, all that good stuff. So once you kind of get through that, the stress of taking the test, and I'm, if you're like me, I'm like, I don't ever want to take another test again, but it wasn't bad at all. I recommend doing their, um, they have a practice test, and it was very close to that. It was the national practice test. And take a state through your cash mail rate if you um, take the test. And um, if you pass uh, both portions, awesome, you're on to the next phase. If you don't, then you can um, just retake the test that you did not pass on. I think grade, passing grade is 75. to take the test and then start set the appointment and then start studying maybe set it out you know a week or so out because I was ready and I didn't sure didn't want the information you know um, literally pouring out my brain <laughs> I'm like I gotta know this and uh, and so anyway it was wasn't that bad at all so um, after that that's what phase I'm at is just figuring out you know some states will have you do a, um, a business license, um, like Nevada for me, I've got to have a business license uh, as well to be a real estate agent in Texas, you don't. So you just kind of have to uh, find that out. And all, all of your the real estate commission, whatever your state real estate commission, they're usually very friendly on the phone and answer questions. They, they've got a little checklist online. Yeah. Those are some of the 
question is, do I need to have a business license, set up one, and um, do I need to become part of the Association of Realtors, like the local one that's, that's with you? Because that's where you'll get all of your MLS access. And so it definitely benefits you um, to do that. Just call, think of it as a marketing expense. But if you could log in and know what houses are selling and coming soon and Kim Day's on market, those top agents are, you can search all kinds of stuff. Um, so, you know, it's just one of those um, investments. So that's kind of where we are now um, with, because I have to hang my license with a broker, um, I have uh, been in contact with an agent, a broker, an EXP agent there in Nevada. So I'm just sending the paperwork to her. She's filling out the information and then she, uh, who, whatever broker, and if you do it through EXP, that broker then will turn in your information to um, the, uh, they'll either send it back to you or they'll go ahead and forward it on to the real estate commission. So just talk with them and, and ask them that, especially if you're out of state. Um, so anyway, uh, that's just some of the things that paperwork asks for, uh, from you. It's about eight different pages is what I had to do to fill out just a form and an application and get your fingerprinting. And um, I had to go to, to my uh, local jail. Again, and this is all sem uh, semantics, but um, super easy process. It was free. Um, and it was kind of an old school process that I did my fingerprints. And then I've got, that's just one of the, the things that I turn in. So all of that is done. That's kind of the phase that I'm in. And I'll keep you guys updated on this whole process. I did have a call from Mr. Michael Reese this morning. He always calls, you know, before 7, 7.30. And, uh, and we've got a strategy meeting in the morning for early breakfast, 6, 6.30 in the morning, 7 o'clock, um, to uh, talk about next steps. And some of the big um, brokers and, and top producers within EXP, as they're building their teams, you know, my team, you Um, and it was, it's just a really cool thing that you're able to, um, to, you know, be involved in because you're growing your business, you're learning some, some tools as well. Uh, so we're going to get our calendars together, figure out, um, locally here in Dallas, what agents I'm going to be bringing to his seminar and, um, it's free lunch and literally he lays out a game plan for any agent, whether they're part of EXP or not on how they can double their business, getting leads, solid leads, converting those leads, using some marketing, um, building teams, just all of those key things that these agents are trying to crack the code on. Um, so that's, that's my job is to get agents um, in front of him to hear him speak. And then at the end, he'll talk about EXP. He'll talk about the difference between them and, you know, KW and all of the other companies, Compass out there um, that are now, this is the crazy thing. They're all trying to now go cloud-based. Um, so if you haven't heard the news, uh, Gary Keller, number one uh, real estate company in, I don't know if it's, a, if it's in the world, but it's definitely in America. He has not been the CEO for the last 20 years. He is now stepping back into it and he's trying to call them a cloud-based uh, real estate company, which is just a reaction to all of the people offboarding and going to um, EXP. Uh, it's so, you know, it, it's just a better model. It was a way that they could do better business and so everybody's kind of jumping on board with that and I just think it's a cool thing that we get to be part of it you know we it's already a related industry and now here we as home stagers get to now team and partner with top agents and guess who they're going to call for their staging right I mean that's just really what it's all about so I'm excited I'm excited about these uh seminars that he's going to be doing and bringing us in into and so we'll get our strategy meeting all lined out of what um, this year is going to look like and especially this uh, uh, q1 of this year and then as you guys um, 
you know, think about, is this something that you would want to do? And me being a kind of a mentor in, all right, Jana's done it. She's gone through it. We know that it's successful. Um, then I'll definitely bring you guys on board if it makes sense to you. I think for most of you, you may not have your real estate license and that's the biggest hurdle um, that, you know, I had to go through, but it will definitely pay off. And like I said, it doesn't just pay off in, in one form. Um, the whole EXP is, and the benefit there is one huge thing that the big able to now, um, you know, offer incentives um, to a certain group of agents instead of trying to go after any and every agent that's out there when you can have affinity with a group um, that feels like they're part of your family, even if it's an extended family, um, they're going to be more loyal to you than just the pop-up overnight stagers. So there's lots of benefit to it. I'm excited for this year. Um, I totally see this. Um, I've trelloed out the board with what we're doing and, and the planning of it. And um, we're just trying to create a roadmap for all of you that follow. Um, and I say all of you, meaning just a few, um, because this isn't going to be something that we're you know, putting in front of every single person, this is going to be something that we want to partner with people, strategic people on, um, so that they're successful. And, um, and then, you know, we'll vet it out. We'll vet it out as we go, go forward. And at the end of the day, if everything, um, we do gets us access to MLS and now we can be a content matter expert and now we can teach CE, um, uh, continuing education to realtors and we can talk to them through a realtor's perspective, um, understanding some of kind of their world on a different level, uh, which you'll get through some of this, this coursework. Um, I did my coursework. <laughs> I did it in um, less than a week. Uh, I did my coursework and it wasn't even an eight hour day each. Um, it was, you know, taking three to four hours a day going through online. If you, if you go through the right uh, real estate school, which we can help you vet, vet one out if you don't know which one to do. I just literally searched and found one that I liked. And one thing that, that was great was they did PowerPoints and there were video PowerPoints and they spoke out all of the PowerPoints. So I could literally on my phone listen to a class put in my headphones, do whatever I needed to do. Um, and it just made it super simple. And then, you know, you can download the book or they'll send it to you. There's so many things. We're just trying to vet all that out. Every state's going to be different. And um, maybe you have already been a real estate agent at one time. And, you know, you just need to uh, do a couple of things to get back uh, active. Um, then I think it's going to be a huge benefit. Um, so that's going to be the big curve is it might take some of you a month or two to get your real estate license. Um, start today, start today, because um, if all else fails and you just become more knowledgeable about the real estate industry, it's a win. And you can take the coursework for a couple of hundred dollars as well. So call it marketing expense, call it learning and CE, um, whatever you need to, to understand that uh, it, it will benefit you in so many different aspects. And then you guys wait and see, you wait and see what we're doing for 2019 and how we are uh, partnering with people. And, you know, if I can earn commission off of the real estate agents that we work with when they sell homes, have you ever thought about, man, I am staging this property for you know a couple of thousand dollars but this agent's getting a commission of ten thousand dollars or whatever that looks like um the cool thing is with i'm at my office now so i'm trying to go over speed bumps and i didn't want you guys to suffer but the cool thing is exp's model is um agents get to keep 80 percent um of their commission so if you've got teams and they have teammates, they're probably, that teammate's only keeping 50% of that commission. Um, and the broker's getting the other, there's all kinds of splits and caps and all this stuff. But um, with EXP, they're keeping 80%. And then once they hit a certain, uh, after $18,000, they get 100% commission. So there's a great way that you guys um, uh, can be educated on. This is why agents are coming over, because they get more split. They also get... 
um, stock benefits. It is an agent owned. Um, there's a ton of um, uh, videos and I'll send you guys links if I haven't already to some webinars that just talk about, uh, Matt, um, Mike does some webinars, Jay's done some webinars just talking about the whole program and, and just the ease of it and what the attraction is to other agents and why they're leaving. They're leaving their teams, <laughs> they're, they're bringing their teams over, but they're leaving their, that team model, that traditional team model where they've got an office that they're paying five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for, and now everybody's in the cloud and they're not responsible for um, that agent because the, everybody's hanging their their license under another broker, a state broker, and and so um, it's just win 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 all the way around. Um, Jay's always said, Mike and Jay, they say there's got to be a better way, and all of their strategies. We've gone to their strategy sessions back ten plus years ago in Arizona, um, a lot of them here in Dallas. Um, they always talk about there's got to be a better way to do real estate. And they will tell you again and again, this has been, this is the better way. This is the best way to do it because you're not liable for all of the team and the team activities. I'm thinking, my gosh, can we not do this for the home staging industry? If somebody bring a model out there, that would be huge. I don't even know how that would work, but, um, because we've got all this product that we have to worry about. Um, but my goodness, it's, it's exciting. To, and I think the more that you learn about it, the more you won't be able to sleep, the more that you will uh, see the light of what I saw in it. And, um, and so I just can't wait for it to just blow up and be um, what other people are experiencing is huge. It is huge. So um, more to come. This is my second video that I wanted to at least um, have some, you know, car talk time with you guys uh, just to let you know my journey and where I am in the process. Um, and it's been a fun one so far. So I will talk to you and see you guys on the next one.